like I'm breathing my last breath Hello, I'm Mac Lethal. I'm gonna rap the history of the United States of America in 27 styles. Now, here's a little story I got to tell about a big bad country you know so well. It started way back in history around 13,000. Asian people walked through the Bering Strait and migrated down here because the land was great. A Viking named Leif Erikson came too, but he was like, Man, this place sucks. Fuck you. In 1492, there was Christopher Columbus. What? And he said, Yo, dog, there's a new world that needs to scum. He went and tried to find a land called Japan. So he got a few ships from his man, Ferdinand. There was the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa, Maria, what? the Taya, the Donna, the Anna, the Tina, the Christy, the Bridget, the Mandy, the Tisha. I'm just lying about Columbus like your teacher. What? Columbus is saying that he landed up in the Bahamas, a beautiful island. He was predicted by the era with Kitty and Zero, so friendly and smiling. So we started a war with them, stole all the spices and gold and the Gucci. Columbus ain't never set foot in the U.S. It is named after a marine called Vespucci. Vespucci, 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 Italian explorer, a liar so douchey. He said he discovered America, so Columbus was left off bad and bougie. And just like that, America was born. Built on a foundation of lies and war. Uh, in the 1500s, the conquistadors from Spain came with Ponce de Leon looking for the fountain of youth made. They had some Bibles made. They had some swords made. They tried to convert all the natives into Christians. Yeah. They found a place called Florida with lots of drugs, crime, and butt naked stage performers, bruh. The beach is beautiful. The sun looks bright. This is the home of the world star hood fight. By now, all the natives knew that Spaniards were just villains in this. 1600s, guess who showed up? The Pilgrims. Holding on the Bibles, all the goddamn Indians was like, ah, oh, not this shit again. The Pilgrims was like, nah, man, we different. But we ran out of food, we fucking hungry, need food pronto. We heard all you natives bob, like LeVar and Lonzo. Switch. Mac the homie Squanto. Pro. Taught him how to farm real good, y'all. Now every year we have a feast where we eat food and watch football. <laughs> In 1620, the pilgrims farmed tobacco to get money. They just wanted to be fly, have the baddest bitch. So they created the Plymouth Rock establishment. Up north, some Dutch people from Holland bought Manhattan from the natives for $24. That's a true story. They called it New Amsterdam. English people took it from them and said, nah, bitch, this is called New York now. 1682, King Charles II owed money to William Pierre, but he said, uh, I can't buy my checkbook and uh, I don't have a pen, but, but wait, wait, maybe I could give you a stay. The William did say, really, thank you. And King Charles do said, yeah, uh, sure, here you can have Pennsylvania. William Pierre was a little gangster, he was a breadwinner, he was so real. He moved to Pennsylvania with his Quaker friends, and they created oatmeal and chocolate and cheese whiz. And the Philadelphia Eagles and the Rocky movies, and Meat Mill and Beanie Siegel and some other shit. Skip ahead to 1754, let's talk about the French and Indian War. A young kid named George Washington, age 22, was still a SoundCloud rapper, hoping he can break through. He, can break through. he took troops and attacked the French, and now the British Army ran the whole East Coast, bitch. In 1850, Louis Vuitton had everybody pretty at the beauty salon. What, Kim, this video's about who? America? My bad, y'all, I'm doing it wrong. In about 1773, dog, the king of England raised taxes on our tea, dog. Man, he sound like he's Sean C. Carter, so we threw a bunch of tea off the Boston Harbor. England want to raise our taxes, ah, they want to kill our economy. Why you trying to fuck with us, dog? All we trying to do is build a fucking colony. Fuck the king of England, dog. That shit is fine. He releases new albums, dog, that you can only listen to on Tidal. Let's start a revolution. I'm sick of paying taxes. I run up on the British Army now and spray my gat clip. And you can tell the King of England that a maniac is on the loose and I'm so fucking crazy, I'm gonna make him backflip. My name is George Washington. I got two blocks and I'm gonna bust a few shots at you like you was Tupac and you'll be laying dead up on the rooftop, naked and nothing but tube socks, sucking a red, white, and blue cock. And the colonists won the revolution. America got retribution. Defeat the British and take the land. Let's all pray to Jesus, take my hand. We signed the Declaration of Independence on July 7, 1776. Saying that we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. Except women, poor, Native American, and black people.
We finally got our own country, but we needed a government. So two of the greatest Americans ever debated what that government should be. You got slaves in Atlanta Tell me boy why did you stand up See my name's Alexander Hamilton I got the answer Your family a panda Black and white cause you fuck Sally You say you want small government but you sound like a bitch at political rallies You got slaves in Atlanta Jefferson why did you stand up You don't teach them grammar You just give them shovels and hammers Family a panda Black and white cause you fuck Sally You say that I'm dumb cause I want a big government Man how the fuck could you doubt me We're friends on a lot of American land and so we said we wanted in the Louisiana Purchase And natives or something that you heard of Until the white man brought the murder mo murder mo murder mo murder There was a clock went on an expedition left St. Louis in search of the fucking Pacific Then there was the war of 1812 and nothing changed until the place was hell And you can tell that when Andrew Jack went and signed the Indian Removal Act We kicked the Indians out they home and they missed their Uncle Charles, yeah Jadakiss went to war with Mexico, standoff at the Alamo, we took Texas, yo. The California gold rush is where Jada be, unfortunately America still use slavery. <laughs> Gettysburg for the weekend Looking for a civil war to get into Gonna send the Union Army down to kill you Ooh. The Union Army's partying, dancing all in the club We won the civil war cause we got too much money and guns And now we popping bottles cause we about to free the slaves Kneel down but baby let me pee in your face Abe Lincoln had some enemies. He was at the theater sipping Hennessy. John Wilkes Booth stuck him. And afterwards, America entered Reconstruction. We gave black people the right to vote. Then we took it away five minutes later with Jim Crow. Feel me? I fought for your freedom. But I don't think that we should share the same fountain for drinking. I don't have a reason. America needed a railroad. So we built one. And when I say we, I mean we made Chinese and Irish people build one. 80 cents and down the transatlantic railroad Had the whole country trapped for the bando Susan B got the D, so listen man, I ain't no time to hold 1920 women got the right to vote The economy was booming in the roaring twenties We was all at the strip club poor remedy Lots of fake capitalism, we ain't learned a lesson Cause we woke up in the thirties with the great depression I said, big motherfuckers, listen FDR came in in a prohibition Before that you think that the man was too zeth He brought the new deal to save the US The motherfucking new deal was mostly poor But like the government programs and alphabet soup The unemployment rate was pretty high too still 1939, Nazis invaded Poland. Adolf Hitler had a stick up in his colon. The Japanese acting like an angry baby mama. And in 1941, they invaded Pearl Harbor like a woo. They started playing hating on the Jews. America sent troops to World War II. Like, fuck your little three way. Normandy on D Day. Hitler drank some cyanide. Like, peace, y'all. Be safe. And we told Japan it's a nuke. Whew, that was a close one. Germany almost took over the world. Luckily, they did it. In response, we decided to try to take over the world. So did Russia. In the 50s, two superpowers took charge. One was the USA, the other the USSR. Communism versus capitalism, it set the stage for the Cold War. Joseph Stalin was a bold whore. November 22nd, 1963. Young base got shot John F. Kennedy. Laying in the car dead with Jacqueline Onassis. Oh my god, base guard, look how big her ass is. A guy named Martin Luther King said, wait, if you could stop racism, that'd be great. So they went and shot him like blank da dang 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 The Vietnam War happened swag gang 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 
1970s proof we still full of shit President Richard Nixon said I'm not a crook and quit Then emerged was bell bottoms pot smoking and rolled in them And finally men learned that they couldn't control women There were war people and anti-war people and anti-anti-war people That went to war with anti-war people and more steeples were built Silent majority hated all the non-whites and watched the violence on Walter Cronkite Killer Cam, wearing pink in my Mercedes Light a blunt, let's talk about the 1980s We are Reaganomics, they came from Ronald Reagan He said the taxes were sky high like Carl Sagan So we cut them, it set all the poor people back Then in the 90s we went and started the war in Iraq But never mind slavery or genocide The worst thing in American history was a blowjob and then the internet's invented And we can finally hate each other With our names hidden And then we get attacked They crash planes into our buildings So we invade an unrelated country And we kill them And then a bunch of bankers Almost ruin our whole nation And all we do is put cheeseburgers in our faces All we do is try to make our fat bodies bigger And our president is arguing Right now on Twitter Part two coming in 500 years.